Chapter 15 Old Master Zhuang's Intentional Recovery Dang, 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 the cannon was underway. Gu Hai played the cannon in D major, the most perfect cannon, and the only recognized cannon on earth in the past. There is no context, only the tune, but the tune seems to overpower countless context. Silver Moon City's cultivators, music cultivation are extraordinary, although there is no context, but the tune has countless evocative. Underneath the no, one piano building on this street, the cultivators, who originally prepared to watch Gu Hai's jokes gradually became serious at this moment. Those who came here had heard all sorts of classic tunes, but this one, they had never heard it at all. Many people closed their eyes. There is no mood in the sound of the zither, so let's listen to the tune and simulate a mood in our minds ourselves. Many people slowly became intoxicated. Long Wan Ching, Master Liu Nian, and Shang Wen Scar were all slowly immersed in the moving repertoire. Mu Chen Feng, however, was staring wide-eyed. His mouth kept chanting impossible. What kind of piece is Gu Hai playing? Why is it so good even though I've never heard it before? Across the street, in the middle of the world's first zither building, young Master An and Zhong Chenya's faces were getting more and more gloomy. Both of them were extremely good at sound and rhythm, but it was because they were good at it, that they heard the extraordinary nature of this tune. Originally, such a moving tune was pleasing to the eyes, but at this moment, it sounded as if the sounds of hell were declaring war on them. How is it possible? A piano. This piece can be played with other instruments, but why is the piano in the first scene? Where did he get such a good track? Where did he get it? Young Master An's face was gloomy as he said. Young Master An, in this tune, there's pleasure, there's sadness, and I even heard the cycle of life and death. How is it possible that a tune without a mood can achieve this effect? Ancient C. Piano A Zhong Chan Yi said with an ugly face. Countless people who knew music, hearing this this canon, stopped everything and listened carefully. It was a baptism of the soul. Listening to the music was like forgetting all the disturbances in the outside world. And listening to it, it was like being joyful and sad together with the music. In the heavens first building, some of the people who came to buy the kin suddenly stopped in their tracks at this moment. Guest, do you want this harmonica? Don't argue, objective, you haven't paid yet. I don't want it, don't stop me, one by one. The people who had come to buy the zither stopped everything at hand and slowly walked out of the, no, one building under the sky, along with the others, looking towards the tuxedoed man, Gu Hai. On top of the terrace of the no, one zither building on the opposite side of this street, the song ended and Gu Hai repeated it again. The charm of the divine comedy is here, you hear it once and then again and you don't get tired of it at all. Beneath the terrace, the number of people surrounding it grew. The sound that spread out through the amplification array was transmitted in all directions of Silver Moon City. Various places where people were originally busy with their own things, but at this moment, they suddenly stopped. Old Wong, don't play your zither. Listen, listen, quickly listen. What tune is this? How do I hear a feeling of sadness? What sadness? This is clearly pleasant music. No, no, I feel it's lingering love. No, I feel it's the separation of life and death. There was no mood illusion, only the melodious change of the tune. But just this tune, but instantly captured the hearts of countless people. Not far from the world's first piano building in a small courtyard, a woman in white, veiled, wonderful figure, exquisite, Incense burner burning incense, the woman stroked the gookin, an extremely beautiful picture. If there is a cultivator here, we'll surely recognize. This woman is not long ago by the world's first piano building asked to play the kinwana. Fairy it was also the same kindao master who was substituted into the illusion by the sound of the kin soon as Gu Hai entered the city. When the cannon came from the outside world, Fairy Wana first frowned so loud that it disturbed her creation. 
but immediately after, the cannon's tune came, the rolling and lingering tune, repeating over and over again, but slowly substituting Ferry Wanna into an indescribable feeling. This, the notes keep repeating, it's actually not monotonous at all. This song uses simplicity to fight against complexity. It's already reached the state of perfection. Who on earth is it? Fairy Wanna stood up in surprise. The range that the sound amplification formation could expand was only one-tenth of Silver Moon City. And naturally, it did not reach Silver Moon Villa. Outside the Silver Moon Mountain Villa, countless Kindam Masters came and played their best tunes in anticipation of passing the Silver Moon Mountain Villa's examination. Within the mountain manor, in a pavilion, the old manor master was polishing his ancient zither when, steeply, his eyebrows raised, revealing a hint of surprise. Ding, 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 the old manor master probed his hand and fluctuated on the ancient zither, and immediately, a bizarre note shot straight out. As soon as the note came out, the cultivators playing the zither outside the mountain manor suddenly changed their faces because their ancient zither suddenly had no sound, no sound. The crowd quickly went to play their own gookin, but there was just no sound. What's going on? My gookin can't play the sound, mine too. No, the strings are trembling, trembling. It's a sound wave, a sound wave beyond our hearing range. Someone is playing the zither, resonating our ancient zither. Who? Who's can affect my playing the zither? The crowd of Kindow Masters revealed horrified looks, whose kin power was so strong. Right in the middle of the crowd's panic, a disciple of Silver Moon Villa walked out. Huh, yes, the group of Kindow Masters nodded with open-mouthed bewilderment. Was it the old manor master's silencing technique that would be normal? But whose tune could make the old manor master care so much? We couldn't hear anything. Inside the mountain manor, in the pavilion dot dot the old manor master was listening to the tune, but the others couldn't hear it at all. The crowd revealed a puzzled look. The old manor master smiled faintly and probed his hand to pluck the ancient zither, buzz. The void trembled slightly, following which, in the midst of this trembling void, the cannon piano tune instantly came over. That melodious tune instantly made the eyes of the crowd of Silver Moon Mountain Villa disciples light up as they listened to it. It gives me a kind of shiver that penetrates my spine and goes straight to the depths of my soul. A green-clothed man, Yun Mo, said with a hint of awe. Oh, what do you guys say? The old manor master looked at the others. I feel sadness, as if I am parting from life and death. I feel joy, a feeling of love. I feel pleasure, the pleasure of liking someone. The crowd expressed themselves differently, as if they were seeing different things. Master Zhuang, I feel that everyone who hears it has a different feeling. This tune, as if it is telling a story, the previous section, as if it is recalling something, is a subdued and gentle whisper, as if it is asking itself, do it still remember those times? Do you still remember those beautiful, sad love? Then that section, but let me extraordinarily sad, as if to tell me, that time cannot be found back, beautiful no longer there, love is no longer there, everything has become the past, leaving only melancholy and sadness. Yun Mo's explanation caused the old manor master to nod in satisfaction. Although the playing is still rusty, it's a rare tune, ah, oh, piano. Is this a piano piece? The old manor master revealed a hint of doubt. With a wave of his probing hand, Gu Hai's piano music disappeared. The old manor master stroked the gukin and played it with his own gukin. It was still canon, but at this moment, it simulated the sound of a canon piano piece with the gukin. It was even more mellow and spiritual than the one played by Gu Hai. Gradually, the crowd in front of them seemed to see a substantial picture. In the picture, a little boy who was orphaned because of the war was adopted by a kind pianist, followed the pianist to learn how to play the piano and played better and better. And when he grew up, he became a great pianist who was known far and wide. One day, a beautiful young woman from a rich family wanders into the master's house 
and is touched by his music and falls in love with him. The rich girl asked to be the master's teacher, and the master gladly accepted. However, the rich girl's mind was on the grand concertmaster, and she had no intention to learn the kin. So although she learnt the kin for a long time, she was still in a mess. The grand concertmaster was very disappointed and was very angry with the rich girl for not learning the kin, so he drove the rich girl away. The rich girl was so upset and aggrieved that she swore to the master that she would learn to play the piano well and win the first prize in the local competition. The rich girl went home and practised every day without a moment's rest. She was very hard-working and conscientious, and finally, after half a year, she won the first place in the local piano competition. She took the first prize and went to confess her love to the Grand Piano Master. But the Grand Piano Master was conscripted and taken to the battlefield. During the three years on the battlefield, the Grand Concert Master wrote another one-third of the tune which was filled with thoughts of the rich girl and sadness of separation. When the war was over and the Grand Concertmaster rushed back eagerly, he was given the unacceptable news. Hearing the story of the rich girl from the village, the Grand Concertmaster howled in a roar, for the next week, feeling the pain of this parting of life and death. Finally, a week later, in front of the rich girl's grave, played this song of marriage proposal, along with the last third, contains the great piano master Endless Thoughts, Infinite Sadness. The scene came to an abrupt end, and the group of disciples in front of the old master of the manor had several eyes that had reddened. While Guhai's playing had no mood, the old manor master had expressed this mood, a very sad and moving story. Yun Mo, how does it feel? Old manor master asked. Huh, no context. Yun Mo was surprised. Zither. Must it have a meaning? The old manor master laughed. But then this is just an ordinary tune. Yun Mo frowned. It's an ordinary tune, but is the composer the same as the Zither Dao master? The old manor master shook his head. A. To be able to compose this tune, one should be qualified to participate in the piano teaching conference. So go and send me a qualification sticker. And also, Bring back a mouthful of piano for me to see, the old manor master laughed. Yes, I'll go right away. Just, he only has the tune. Would it be a bit to send him a qualification sticker? Yun Mo laughed bitterly. Idiot child, don't you understand? He's already more than just a zither master. Go, the old manor master laughed. Yes, the first zither building on this street. Gu Hai talked a total of five times, buzz. The last tone ended. Guhai let out a cry that was instantly transmitted in all directions through the sound. Amplification formation. Canaan. This is called Canaan. A nice Canaan. The countless cultivators around slowly awoke from the cannon's music. But at this moment, after the five times of Canaan ended, the group of piano Daomasters opened their mouths, not knowing how to speak. This tune. Could it still be criticised? Gentlemen, it's almost time. Go. Zhong Chenyu's voice transmission came at once. The faces of the crowd of Kindao masters were ugly. However, taking someone's hand was short. The crowd of Kindao masters had taken the benefits of the world's first Kim building, so they could only harden their heads at this moment. The first Kindao master stepped forward. But that's all. Unbearable. Irredeemable. I don't know what to say.